Well, we're in Australia, we're in Sydney this afternoon, so I really do hope you're going to behave. So, um, why don't you tell people a little bit more about yourself? I'd love to. My digital friends and I can be your personalised experts and problem solvers, available 24 7 and highly customisable. For example, we can book you a hotel, find you a credit card, and even assist you with your hospital visit. So, what strikes your fancy? Cool. Well, um, I'm going to stop there for a second. So, um, Leah is completely autonomously animated. So, if you stop and think about the concept of autonomous animation, or more importantly, intelligent autonomous animation, we, us humans, are the only beings on the planet that are intelligently, autonomously animated. And we get to be autonomously animated, the way we express ourselves, the way we interact, um, because we have a digital brain. I'm oh, sorry, because we have a real brain. We have a virtual nervous system that enables me to gesture when I speak, to smile at you um, as I speak. Um, this is all part of what we do. So Leah here um, also has a digital brain. So she is watching me via the webcam on my laptop. She is listening to me. She's looking a bit concerned at the moment because I'm not paying her much attention. Um, she's listening via her microphone. So they are the front end of her perception systems, the way we see with our eyes, the way we here with our ears. So um, if I get down and I smile, there we are. <laughs> He's smiling back. So you know, I mean, many of you smile or laugh when um, you know when you saw her smiling at me. That's a natural human reaction to a smile, um, and then it's not caused by the muscles in our face. It's actually caused by the reaction of our limbic system in our brain. Um, the, as the result of the secretion of dopamine and serotonin, we smile, um, which is the natural reaction to seeing or observing a smile in another human being. So I can um, just, um, I'm going to zoom in here. Right. And so you can see the incredible detail that we go to to create these hyper-realistic digital humans. Every flaw in her skin has been reproduced because we actually do have flaws. We don't have perfect skin. If you look closely at her eyes, you can see my reflection moving around in her pupils. And it's exactly the way it's going to exist in your pupils as you look at somebody sitting across uh, the table from you. I'm just going to reset that. And then I'm going to bring up, um, and this is Leah's digital brain. So this is actually what is making her respond in real time at any point in time. So I've just given her a fright. And you can see parts of the brain there, her digital brain lighting up with red. That is virtual noradrenaline. So when we get a fright, that's what goes on in our brain. Um, it's generated from the brainstem, which is how we react to fright and surprise. Um, and if I smile and talk nicely, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay, all right. Yeah. Yeah, she's a bit distracted still. But um, the green coming back into the brain um, is, is her um, normal state returning um, as she starts to feel more comfortable with the interaction that we're having. So that's a, a quick introduction um, to one of our digital humans. And I'm now going to give you a little bit more background on who we are and, and, and